On behalf of Arius University School of Medicine, Aruba, I welcome you all here today and I am especially thankful to Pakistan Television, Sony Tarti Pakistan Television for giving us an opportunity to present this seminar. So I will be presenting this seminar today about Aureus University School of Medicine, Aruba. Today, in today's session, I will be giving you general information about the aggregation, our campus facility, our academic programs, management and faculty, and admission requirements for the school. And I will be discussing about the curriculum, clinical craftsmanship, fees and finance structure of the school, and our environment at the Aureus. And plus, we will be having question and answer session from the audience as well. Now, briefly, I would just want to tell you about healthcare professions in North America. There is an acute shortage of healthcare professionals in North America. And there is a, we are challenged every day by growing healthcare needs. You, you, when you look for a family physician, it's very difficult to find a family physician these days. Now, diminishing number of healthcare professionals is in North America. And it's, it's not a global issue, probably it is in crisis. So, we all know that there is an acute shortage of healthcare professions in North America. Now, the reason for that is there is a steep population growth. There is a population growth spurt is going on, and there is a diminished pipeline for production of these healthcare professionals. And there is an aging workforce. The, these issues are just coming at a time when majority of the doctors are retiring. And there is, there is an expanding opportunity within the healthcare system for other young entrepreneurs, young doctors who are becoming doctors in, in pipeline. Now, expected increase in the U.S. group population. So there is 18% expected increase in the next 10 years. So the population will grow. We know it already. And the aging population, especially over the age of 65, will expand by 54%. You have more older people. You need more healthcare professionals. Now, there is impending shortage of medical doctors. American Association also knows it now. What they have done is they have increased 30% increase in the medical school enrollment. And this has, been noted, uh, this has been stated by the Association of American Medical Colleges now. So you need doctors now. We are in acute shortage. Now, our school is located in Aruba, which is a Caribbean island. It's a Dutch island. It's a beautiful Caribbean island. And the other name for this is One Happy Island. It's very well developed with a constant temperature throughout the year, warm temperature, and it has got the biggest tourist attraction from North America, UK, and many other countries. Aureus University School of Medicine is located in the heart of the capital or ingested of Aruba. Now, another beautiful thing about Aruba is that it is outside the hurricane belt. All other Caribbeans, if you see, they are in the Carib infested by the Caribbean uh, hurricane, but Aruba is out of the hurricane belt. Now, this is a Word map, probably if you look at naked, look at, at this map, you cannot make out where is Aruba. It's so minute, it's so tiny with 100,000 population, but I would like to magnify this a little bit. In the next slide, if you see, you have Aruba here, which is very close to Venezuela. It's about 25 kilometers from Venezuela, and from Miami, it is two and a half hour flight. And there are many flights, direct flights from US, and there are direct flights from Canada also. This is a small island here, surrounded by the sea all over. And this is, a, this is a flag of Aruba with yellow strips inside. Our school got its name from this yellow strips because of the aureus. Because aureus means gold. If you look at the periodic table, aura means gold. So it took its name from that, our university. And this is the actual Google picture of the island. And if you see that, it's all surrounded by this. And our school is located somewhere here near the orange strip. Now, talking about Aureus University School of Medicine, it is chartered by government of Aruba in 2004 as All Saints University of Medicine. Now, graduates are eligible for licensing in United States, Canada, and United Kingdom, or any other country that recognizes FAMER, International Medical Education Directory, IMED, and WHO. Now, I would like to detail a little bit about uh, FAMER, IMED, and WHO in the next slide. So, FIMAR is Foundation of Advancement of International, International Medical Education and Research. It stands for that abbreviation. And the International Medical Education Directory, that is IMED, is a free web-based resource for accurate and up-to-date information about the international medical schools that are recognized by the appropriate government agencies in the countries where they are located. Like our school is located in Aruba, 
it is recognized by the Aruba government. A medical school is added to the IMED, International Medical Education Directory, after FEMA receives confirmation from the Ministry of Health or Ministry of Education or other appropriate agency that the ministry or the agency has recognized the school. And FEMA also time to time updates IMED as a new information about medical schools is received from these agencies. Now what WHO listing? Many of the parents call me and ask me about listing of the school, whether it is listed in WHO or not. Now, the word directory of medical schools has been transferred to Avanciana Directory of Medicine. The Avanciana Directory is maintained by University of Copenhagen in Denmark. Now it's in collaboration with the World Health Organization and World Federation of Medical Education, WFME. Our school is listed in WHO. Now continuing with that, so it is listed in the directory of World Health Organization, approved for USMLE steps and ECFMG certification in the US and recognized by the Medical Council of Canada. Now our mission, school's mission is dedicated to provide our graduates with strong medical background to succeed as medical professionals. We strive to educate graduates with a sense of social responsibility. Now, we have two academic programs. One is four-year MD program and the other one is five-year MD program. In the four-year MD program, we take students who have done bachelor's of biology or bachelor's degree in biology or related sciences and during this four-year MD program, they have to undergo 20 months of basic sciences program. Out of this 60 months, they have to spend in Aruba. So that is four semester they have to spend in Aruba. That is three and a half month each semester with 15 days break in between. So four semester they'll be spending in Aruba. And then the fifth semester, they will come to New York for fifth semester for ICM, that is in introduction to clinical medicine. And then after that, they will be taking our in-house examination and board preparation and take preparing for the in-house examination, comprehensive basic sciences examination. After clearing that examination, we'll send their application for the USMLE 1 examinations. And after they finish their USMLE 1 examination and their score comes, they are in line for clinical rotation for various hospitals in the US. So they will be spending almost close to two years of clinical clerkship in US and Canada. And the other program, that is five-year MD program. So the only difference between this program is that this is meant for the students who are 10 plus 2 or grade 12 graduates. So they will be spending 12 months of pre-medical courses program that our school has. It is one year program and it comprises of three semesters in which they will be undergoing. We will be giving them 90 college credit hours in uh, physics, chemistry, English, maths, biology. And then we'll be introducing a little bit of our medical uh, introductory classes in the third semester. And ultimately, after clearing the screening exam, our screening exam for the pre-med, they will enter the MD courses. Exact, uh, actually, they will be medical students starting now with the medical college in MD1. Now, in the pre-med, as I told you, there are three semesters, pre-med 1, 2, and 3. And in pre-med, as I told you, these are chemistry, biology, mathematics, general chemistry, physics, term medical terminology, mathematics, English. These subjects, along with the in pre-med three, there will be there will be some introductory classes of medical subjects like histology, medical psychology, and human anatomy. And in the MD program, we have five MD uh, semesters in which four of these five uh, uh, semesters will be done in Aruba, and this fifth semester will be done in New York. In the fourth semester, they will be uh, they will be studying various basic subjects which are done in the medical colleges like anatomy, embryology, medical ethics, physiology, genetics, biochemistry, neurosciences, and then including immunology, microbiology, behavioral sciences, pathology one, pathology two, physical diagnosis, and pharmacology. And ultimately, once they finish these four semesters, there they will they will be graduated as uh, they can become as. Uh, 50% doctors, so we have a ceremony called as white coat ceremony. So after we finish that white coat ceremony, they'll be, they'll pursue their fifth semester in the New York, and then in, and then in this semester, they'll be studying introduction to clinical medicine, and after that, they'll be taking board review, and they'll prepare for the exam preparation for, the, for our in-house examination, which is combined basic sciences examination, and once they clear this exam, they'll be in line to apply for USMLE 1. Our school will forward their application for USMLE 1, and once they clear USMLE 1, they will be ready to rotate in various hospitals in the US with six rotations of 12 weeks each. That is in total of 72 weeks and uh, close to one year and eight months period. 
And during their third year and the fourth year, uh, the, the faculty of the various hospitals, they will evaluate the student performance in every clinical rotation. And our head office in New Jersey will be getting all the feedback from those teachers there. Next slide, sir. Now, as, in year, as I told you that there is a 72 weeks of uh, clinical rotation, out of this, 48 weeks are called as core rotations. So during those core rotations, they have to rotate through these subjects, like internal medicine for 12 weeks, general surgery for 12 weeks, and six weeks each in pediatrics, ob psychiatry, and family practice. So after this, they will be finishing core rotation of 48 weeks, and after that, only out of 72 weeks, 24 weeks are left. Those are called as elective rotations. So during those 24 weeks of elective rotations, they will rotate in the subjects of their choice. They like they want to do specialize in a particular subject, so they can rotate on those subjects. Those these 24 week comprises of four rotations of six week each. So they can choose four subjects and they can rotate rotate in the uh, subjects of choice. So in which, in which they want to do the post graduation. And we have a various big list of those subjects, whichever they want to, four, four out of these, they can choose and rotate of their own.